Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here and um, I figure uh, that I talk about something for my friends out in internet land. So this video is all about uh, short-term gain and long-term pain, okay? Now, why did I decide to talk about this is um, I got some mail, right? So I can't really show you what it is, but I got some mail and it's about this particular male and this particular male, right? ADP and um, this particular male, okay? Now, what am I telling you about this? Couple things, right? Last year, we had this whole situation with Trump and kind of the updates on what happens with taxes and stuff like that, right? The tax reform and uh, I've been having conversation a lot with my CPA and as well as researching myself on how it's going to impact our business, right? So our co company and corporation, um, it is an LLC, but it's taxed as a C Corp, right? Many times people get their corporation is a pass-through entity as an S Corp. Now, all of this, if you don't know what this means, bottom line is let me explain what this means. And I'll open this particular document, okay? So, uh, let me open this. I got my trusted knife. Don't worry, okay? So, and let me open this document. I'll explain exactly why sometimes doing short-term gains, right? You got the moment when you do it, you think it's a good thing in business, but then afterwards, you know, you realize that, ah, maybe that was a sh idea and stupid crap to do. And that's what I want to talk about. So, this is what, like, well, if you don't know what this is, this is a 1099 uh, form, right? So 1099 form uh, means that a company has paid us money uh, to do something for them. So um, one of the companies I have, we get paid to do, uh, we sell media, okay? So we're a media agency and we have a database of stuff and people uh, pay us to physically send out emails on their behalf, okay? Um, and they pay us an upfront fee. So this particular company in 2017 uh, paid us, uh, here, let's, let me show you, I'm not gonna show you who it is, but if you see here, uh, they paid us 25000 dollars okay so they paid us twenty five thousand dollars to send uh, emails for them okay now for for some folks right twenty five thousand dollars like you see this in this 1099 uh, form right like you see this and you're just like whoa you know to some folks you might be like that's a lot of money okay but in the grand scheme of things as I started looking at the numbers right it kind of dawned on us that um, this was a short-term gain right short-term gain here's what I mean by this okay which is as we went into 2017 um, we got some advice from our CFO some of the other advisors to start building relationships uh, outside of what we're currently doing right so so we would physically sell media okay we've been doing that for a while now but I would be very selective on uh, who we actually promote, right? I don't, I don't want to simply promote other people for the sake of promoting and then make money, right? So we would be very, very um, selective, right? So this particular company comes and we're just like, you know what? Let's test them out, okay? And here's the reason why we decided to test this company out and why they send us a 1099 for $25,000, right? Because I was just like, hey, they have a unique product and I was just like, if I can have people buy that particular products through them, then I would be able to put that product in reverse engineer and possibly be able to sell it to my list by doing that, okay? And or be able to use uh, their funnel to be able to figure out kind of proof of concept. Right? So that was the kind of attempt that we did. Now this is all hindsight, right? We do this in life, we do this in business where we look back and just like, oh my gosh, that was a the idea right so in this case this is was exactly one of those things where I already kind of believe that this is what people already wanted right and then not only that but they gave us money right but the challenging issue is okay when I did this I kind of beat up our email list I really did I beat up our email list right so they gave us money cool no problem and again as I keep on showing this stuff right like look Okay, they gave us this 1099, they gave us this money, but we've kind of beat up the email list, right? And I know that because I looked at the statistics on it and the amount of people who unsubscribe from that, right? I saw that versus, versus, right? If I partnered up with someone and then created the product itself, then it may have changed, changed the game completely, right? So, as again, it's all easy in hindsight, right? But again, the numbers never lie, but the story we, t t for the folks, the story we tell them always lies, right? Like numbers never lie, 
Okay, but the story we tell them does. Okay, so as we're moving forward in 2018, um, in our own company, our media company, right, we're not going to be doing um, that much more media buys unless uh, we get paid significantly a lot more than $25,000 to send out emails, right? Now, you might be saying, holy smokes, you know, like that seems like a good thing, right? Now, it didn't happen overnight. We, we worked at it. We have relationships and we built it out. And But that's kind of my message for you guys and gals that are out there is that to understand that the numbers in the business are the numbers in the business, but don't fool yourself and lie and then say, oh yeah, it was because of this thing, hey, it became successful. No, 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 okay? Focus on long term, right? Short term making a buck, it's easy. Like, like that's what kind of did here, right? Like we did here. And I've gotten a message back from some of my friends who are on my email, who's been on my email list for over a decade now, says, Jeff, what the heck are you promoting, right? And I said, hey, you know, and I was honest, I was just like, yeah, you know, they paid me money to promote. And I was like, oh, cool, you know, and stuff like that. But again, just just be just be conscious about uh, what you do, you know, because you're 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 literally building a relationship with people in Internet land, just like this video that I make. Right. It's just pe real people are watching on the other side. So when you're pumping out content and you're trying to build a brand, you're trying to, you know, do this. Remember, short-term gains, cool. You can game it a little bit, right? But remember, focus on long-term. Because remember, okay, A players recognize some of the stuff that you're pulling, right? C players, you might be able to fool them. D players, you might be able to fool them. But A players, you're not going to be able to fool them, right? Um, and A players recognize that, hey, when I was promoting some of this product, they knew I was getting paid, right? They knew I was getting paid. They knew I got paid 25 grand to send out email, right? And then that's what they did right so just recognize that because there is value in it but also at the same time you know as you're building your personal brand if you're in the kind of the personal brand or even building a brand for your company just know that uh, it's really really important to be able to not think short term right because I know it's tough especially right if you're trying to generate revenue and things like that right you start thinking short term short term short term and there's a time and place okay there's a time and place like yo, last year you know a lot of it we did a lot of testing last year so so this year we're scaling down and uh, we're just going to simply focus on what has worked. Like for example, last year about the same time I worked a lot of hours. Why? Because I was launching a software or in my brain I wanted to launch a software so I worked on it hard. I was here long hours, right? Paid tens of thousands of dollars to get it going and guess what? When the product was created I thought it was garbage and crap so guess what I did? I killed it. Right? I lost money out of my hard earned money. Okay, I lost money. I could have went out and sold it. Okay, trust me. I could have went out and sold it because I had a massive, you know, buyers list that I was already like waiting. They're just like, Jeff, give me the product, give me the product, give me the product, right? But guess what I did? I said, Hell no, I'm not gonna sell that crap. And I canned it, I ate the loss, and I learned a lot about building a software. Okay, and that's how I'm justifying it in my brain. If you get that right, that's how I'm justifying it. I learned, right, things like that. So last year we did a lot of testing. We did a lot of things that we were just like, okay, we never did. We got out of the comfort zone and we did it. This year we're kind of reverting back to what has worked from last year. And then we're gonna simply build on top of that. And what we're going to do is kind of come out side of our typical industry that we go after which is kind of like the real estate industry right um, and I have behind the scenes been working with a lot of other entrepreneurs outside the space of real estate and some of them have graciously said I can go ahead and uh, maybe allow them to kind of you know tell the stories about what's going on so a uh, point of all of this is uh, short-term gains long-term pain Right? It's a fine balance. And if you tend to focus only on short-term gains, I guarantee you, you're going to get hit with a long-term pain. Like boom! Like a slug in the face. So predominantly, you want to focus on long-term gains and then a very small percent on short-term. Right, and look, it's a fine balance, as I said earlier. Right, it is an absolute fine balance. It's teeter tottering, right? It's like kind of going spinning, uh, uh, spinning a plate on this, right? Like you're in a circus, like doo -doo 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 -doo, right? But you got your short term and you got your long term. It's kind of like, oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And you gotta do both, but focus on more of the long term side because I guarantee you, okay. Your customers and people on your email list and the people you communicate with on the internet and land is going to find out very quickly if you're full or uh, actually talk the talk and do the things that you're actually preaching. That's what I got for y'all. Love y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.